What do you call it when a guy who judo flips horses and fights rhinos on motorcycles ties his gi while walking barefoot across the desert in your direction? That's not just a regular beatdown, it's an annihilation tantamount to getting a face tattoo laser removed by the Death Star. When you ruffle these furry eyebrows, you can do nothing to escape the divine retribution of Sanshiro the last remaining master of the deadly Kurenai technique. In all seriousness, I'm surprised Speed Racer is one of the most popular 60s anime while few have heard of Judo Boy. It harnesses the same flambastic energy and animation except focusing on martial arts. Furthermore, it's from Tatsuo Yoshida, the original creator of Speed Racer, Gachman, and Hurricane Polymer. He was also the co-founder of their studio Tatsunoko Productions. Not only does Judo Boy convey the same intensity, but it's likely a significant link to future action anime like Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Now tell me that didn't radiate pure Rao vibes. Of course, I can't presume what influenced which anime, but I can speak to my experience. It's just the feeling I get when watching two martial artists blaze past each other at mock speeds delivering their final blow, though they've been doing that since the 1950s. Much like how Jungle Taite 1964 elevated the standards of TV anime by being the first full-color production, Judo Boy is another leap forward for its dynamic camera angles, use of color, and multimedia special effects. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing earlier TV anime using model replicas, sampling real-life textures, or using real lighting sources. Thankfully, these techniques were beautifully preserved with an HD remaster so faithful it even kept whatever these things are. While it's visually remarkable, the action is easily its biggest attraction. I thought judo was supposed to be the misdirection of your opponent's momentum. Although this is often depicted, Sanchiro regularly flips into battle like a Sentai hero, sending his enemies spiraling through the air with a hurricane rana like something out of God Hand. Aside from its high-intensity action and remarkable visuals, its story sadly leaves much to be desired. It follows Sanshiro on his quest for blood to avenge his father. The only problem is that his sole clue to the perpetrator is that he's missing an eye. So basically, most of the anime is him roaming the planet beating up anyone with impaired vision. If you think that's offensive, you should see the time he flapjacks an amputee by his stump. Because Sanshiro judo flips first and asks questions later, there's a fair amount of misunderstandings. Though, to his defense, that one guy did shoot him in the face. My feelings on its story were that it followed an episodic formula of going to a new place, meeting beautiful women, getting mixed up in their struggles, and fighting his way out. Although I appreciated its sense of mystery, dramatic irony, and adventure in certain episodes, I often became more interested in the fights humor, and random settings. Although its drama was visually well executed, it rarely left an impact on me, though your mileage may vary as emotional responses are a highly subjective issue. In addition to Sanchiro's grudge and its light episodic dramas, there's a fair amount of wacky episodes depicting the supernatural, like fighting mummies, getting his body taken over by a mad scientist, and the African tribe that somehow mastered kung fu. Overall, Judo Boy was a wild ride that I recommend to everyone craving comedy and action, but I suggest watching it with a friend to get the most out of its insanity. 
I give Judo Boy a 7.5 out of 10. It's half a point higher than Speed Racer purely for its presentation. Otherwise, I think both anime are on the same level, except Speed Racer's episodic narrative left a stronger positive impression, while I preferred the action and comedy of Judo Boy. Needless to say, you're doing yourself a disservice if you like one but haven't seen the other. If you're looking for more martial arts madness, I recommend Tenjo Tenge, Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple, and Fist of the North Star. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to Nia-chan for third tier Patreon support. If you'd like to support these videos or join our community, check the links in the video description. I'll see you soon with my beginner's guide to Tiger Mask. <laughs>